Okay, that was trapped in the closet. And then I pull out my gun and I'm gonna put a cap in this bitch. I love that shit, so good. Oh, fuck you, R. Kelly. Anyways, um, what's a cult? Ooh, right. Basically, it's any group that has a set of beliefs that deviate from mainstream groups. This is like, could be any, anything. I love watching the cult shows on like A&E and other, and other shows that do like get into like the, the real fucked up cults um, that are doing real, real crazy shit, okay? But you know, oftentimes, what it takes to be a cult is that these, they have deviant behaviors and they use brainwashing. Yeah. Brainwashing techniques, threats, violence, manipulation, torture, etc. Um, but they often, a cult will try to manipulate, exploit, control members. Now listen, it's, I mean, when you look at so many groups that are not labeled as cults, could be cultish, um, depending on how you see them, could be culty, um, you know, who, who knows, so that's something to just kind of stew on, right, but, you know, it's usually negative, it's, <laughs> you never want to be called a cult, I mean, you never want to have your group called or labeled a cult, it's not a good look, um, but some people think, yeah, like of the Church of Latter-day Saints as a cult, Mormons as cultish, definitely like uh, fundamentalist Mormons. Jehovah Witnesses are often labeled as, as a cult. These are Christian cults. Um, Scientology is definitely labeled as a, as a, as a cult. Um, okay. Um, but I think the important thing is to think about like what differentiates a cult from an established religion. It's, it's hard for me to really even grasp that as a person who just doesn't believe in anything. Um, capitalism is my God. It's really hard to uh, contemplate, you know, religion in general and what is a cult and what is a religion. I think the main difference is religions are established and have a long establishment that pre-exist that pre-exist industrialization pre-exist the 1800s um anything after the 1800s typically you know are considered cultish or a cult depending on who you talk to and you know, that's debatable. Like, we could debate over that, you know. Um, but it's, it's just something interesting to think about. I mean, you could think about, like, so many institutions as cultish, right, that manipulate, exploit, and brainwash people. This class. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's just interesting. But, you know, we, we tend to think of these behaviors as deviant in some, in some ways. So, like, you know, um, I don't know. It's just a hard thing to define, you know. But if you think of things like uh, aliens and Lord Zenu and the story of Joseph Smith, but fucking Jesus walking on water, Moses splitting the, the Red Sea, all that stuff really requires non-rational faith, non-rational belief. We, you know, like in the believers, like you... you we all know that shit ain't possible. It's just fucking Lord Zenu don't make no sense. You know, Joseph Smith fucking made that shit up. But if that's what you believe, and, you know, you're, you're not harming anybody with those beliefs and pushing them in, with violence on people, it's all good. You know, and that's where Matt and Trey kind of actually come in and, and say that. The problem they have with the Church of Scientology is their threats of lawsuit and threats of violence and harassing people. 